What it means to be safe is such a relative term, but I think traveling as not only a woman, but a black woman, I've definitely accumulated some tips on how to stay safe while solo traveling because you never know what people be doing out here. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sojourner. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about all things travel, whether it's packing and planning or solo travel, budget travel, black travel, all the things. I'm pretty much your travel bestie. So you should go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Today's video, we are talking all about safety tips while traveling solo, especially as a woman, but also a black woman, since that is my experience that I'm talking in the video. I think a lot of times, we are told we can't do things like traveling in general but let alone solo traveling and people are really scared we know the media definitely enforces that fear a lot we can't control everything a lot of travel is out of our control honestly there are some general things that we can do to you know minimize the risk just a little bit just a little first one is try to blend in as much as you possibly can now look at me look I'm a black woman. I have curly hair today. I may have Marley twist tomorrow. I stick out pretty much anywhere that I am, especially if I'm in predominantly white or predominantly brown countries when they're not used to seeing a lot of black people. And so there are still some things I do to blend in a little easier. I do read about the culture and customs before I go, especially the religion I find heavily impacts what I should be wearing in some countries versus others as I travel as a woman. Reading about the culture and customs also lets you know if you need to bring more modest clothing. I know when I went to Morocco during my study abroad they recommended that we wear more long sleeve shirts or have shawls or something to wrap up it wasn't super strict but it was still good to kind of know what was expected pack a jacket or even a sweater just to have and carry with you just in case you go into a sacred space and we want to respect the culture and customs of the place that we're visiting wear more modest jewelry i normally have these necklaces on and maybe a ring and earrings but nothing super flashy none of it's actually real stuff so it's not like it's worth a whole lot of money but I do try to limit as much jewelry as I wear in some destinations. Tip number two is one that I live by it is never posting on social media in real time ever everybody doesn't need to know your location i made this mistake once and i got a really creepy dm on instagram from a guy who was like hey i saw you were here we should meet up and i learned my lesson since then okay there was no one like me guiding me me now to know what i should have done then whether i'm at home or abroad i always post at least a few hours after i leave a place if i'm hopping around from place to place i normally create my content or take all my photos and videos and don't post them until i go on to the next destination tip number three is to send your family your friends or whoever you trust and love your itinerary traveling solo is very unpredictable and while you may not know anyone in the place that you're going to it's always nice to let your friends family and loved ones know hey this is where I'm staying these are some places I might be eating at and this is where my flight gets in you can text your flight if you have an iPhone to another iPhone user whether that's your brother sister mom dad uncle aunt whoever that you want to and that'll show flight information to them these are the only people you should be sharing your location with the most remember to forward your hotel your Airbnb address your hostel address all that information if you're hopping around to new ones send that to them them if it changes send that to someone back home just so that someone knows your home base so that if something happened in that country they knew who to get in contact with tip number four is to switch up your routine and this is more if you are living abroad or maybe studying or interning abroad definitely switch up your routine yes it's good to be a regular somewhere to kind of build that routine but every now and again switch it up never know who was watching if someone may be watching your routine and kind of getting to know what you do every day it gives a little variety to your routine you can discover new places in the place that you're visiting it can seem a little paranoid but it's always okay to be a little paranoid sometimes when you're traveling if you are open-minded and carefree all of the rest of the time tip number five is to never say that you are solo now, to be honest this depends who I'm talking to so if I'm staying in a hostel by myself I may say I'm solo because that is honestly when I meet other solo travelers and so they're also gonna know that I'm by myself if like 
it's just me. People can kind of tell when you're solo if you're in a hostel. Even when I rode the California Zephyr from Chicago to Emeryville, California, a lot of the other train travelers had asked me, hey, are you by yourself? What are you doing? And so I did say yes because it was obvious in the sleeper car that I was the only one. However, with Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, I generally say that I'm going to meet friends or someone's waiting for me. I'm not engaged or anything like that, but I actually have also worn a ring on my ring finger for the more persistent people men who really don't believe me and are a little too pushy just out of comfort everybody doesn't need to know your life story when you're traveling though it's great to be out there and sharing some things there are some safety tips that we need to keep in mind this also leads into my next tip which is having your uber or lyft driver pick you up from a place across the street or a cafe maybe down the block instead of at your hotel or hostel it's just another precaution while i always assume the best intentions again you never know so instead of having my uber drivers come pick me up in front of my house or hotel i just go to the cafe across the street or go somewhere else to get picked up from just so that they don't know where i'm living especially if i'm there for like a longer period of time that is more than a week or so maybe even less than that my seventh tip is to never stare at your phone for too long. This is an obvious tale that you don't know where you're going and you're a tourist. I always make sure to download my directions in Google Maps when I have Wi-Fi before I leave my hostel or hotel or even the airport because then I'll be able to know where I'm going because I have the directions right there. I've also done things where I may have felt like I was getting lost. So I walked into a store and kind of walked around but not really. I just used it as a way to look down at my phone without it being obvious in the middle of the street of a busy city center that I was a tourist. You can always ask someone for directions as well in these stores because they're probably accustomed to tourists asking for directions anyway. No matter what you do, just don't stare at your phone or always look down to navigate where you're going. Try to memorize, you know, maybe a few streets, maybe the first left, second right third right whatever directions you have make it seem like you always know where you're going which is the goal walk like you know where you're going another tip to stay safe while traveling solo is do not have all your money out don't just pull out all of your money in a busy city center that is the easiest way to get robbed only bring the money that you need for that day that's why having a travel budget is actually kind of a safety tip so that you always know that if something were to happen to you while you were out wandering around you had money back in your hostel in your hotel probably in your shoe or something like that is a great place to put it just in case something happened to you you know that you'll be covered last and final tip is to be cautious but don't be avoidant of everything i encourage adventure i encourage you being out there being the wanderess that you aspire and you've always wanted to be i just want us to do it safely while yes it may seem paranoid to switch up your routine once you already have it down pat or it may seem a little tedious to get picked up in a cafe instead of your actual hotel it's better to be safe than sorry yes travel solo yes go out there and see the world but i really 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 want all of my fellow solo female travel my fellow black women to be out here and travel but also be safe these are just a few ways where you can be cautious but still be open to new experiences i always assume good intentions i have thankfully never have had anything bad happen to me while i've been traveling as a solo female traveler however you never know anything can happen anywhere and i don't want to instill more fear mongering into women who want to travel solo however there are some things that we have to take into consideration because of the way society and the world is designed we unfortunately have to take these precautions so stay alert use common sense but also embrace the experience too and that is all that i have for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know your best Best travel tip that you have for traveling solo I would love to add more to my own list and I hope you all stay curious travel besties and I will see you all at my next video bye